Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Let's talk some more about Azure Data Studio. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on inside it. There's just, it, it's growing and, and it's expansive and there's just so much happening. But I'm a bit of a query tuning nut and one of my favorite, favorite things in the world is extended events. Now, let's get a little weird. Azure Data Studio doesn't have extended events. Azure Data Studio has Profiler. And before you get all excited and say, oh my God, I knew it, Microsoft is gonna fix Profiler. They're calling it Profiler. What it actually is, is extended events. Yay! So let's go check it out. Right, so this is Azure Data Studio. And what I've got is I'm connected up to, um, actually, believe it or not, Azure SQL Database. So I'm out there with a test database in Azure using Azure Data Studio. And Let's look at queries. Look at, let's look at query metrics. So in Azure Data Studio, one of your bestest friends in the world is Control Shift P. Control Shift P brings up um, your command list, and there's all kinds of different things we could be doing. But we're going to run off of the stuff I've already been working on. We're going to do a new profiler. Now it's going to open up, and it's going to want us to pick a template. And the template we're going to pick is standard Azure. And we will give this, uh, you know, video demo capture, give it a name, and then we will create it. And with that, it will then set up and start an extended event session. Even though it says it's doing profiler, what it's actually doing is extended events. And we can even switch over here and run a couple of queries. So let's um, run one query, returns a bunch of data. And let's run another query that returns a lot less data. And so those queries have gone through. And we will then see back over here, we can see our profiler information. And so we can see state batch starting and batch completed, um, a log out, SQL batch starting, SQL batch completed. And you can see the, the process ID, um, how much CPU was used, the number of reads, the writes, and best of all, the duration in microseconds. And so we know exactly how fast the queries are running here, um, what kind of data is being moved, and we've got the ability to now monitor queries from within Azure Data Studio. Now, don't go away. Hit that subscribe button. I'm not done. A couple more points. First up, this is a 1.0 product. It's a little persnickety, a little finicky getting it set up appropriately. Um, getting it to consume stuff that you set up um, outside of it, I've had some problems with. Um, I've been challenged a little bit in, in the setup and the processing. However, if you're running on Linux, if you're running on you know a Mac, you can now capture query performance metrics just like you could if you were running inside a management studio. That's great news. Thanks a lot. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.